today we've come to Weymouth in Dorset to have a little look around. Uh, it said it was going to be uh, sunny but um, the sun's not really come out and uh, it's pretty cold and uh, very windy. We've parked um, sort of behind the town centre near Weymouth Harbour. Uh, it's pretty much behind TK Maxx um, and it's uh, what £3.50 I think for four hours so it's pretty reasonable. Uh, means we can pop back to the van and get a cup of tea if we want, uh, which we did because it was so cold. I really like this part of uh, Weymouth, just really nice old buildings, all different colours, um, obviously the fishing boats here um, and it looks like it's had some money spent on it, the, the pavement looks new and the uh, and, and, and the, the, the road surface there as well looks like it's just been redone. And it's really popular down here in the summer with uh, people sat uh, on the edge here in the cafes. I spent a lot of today just looking at um, some of these buildings, they're just uh, really impressive. I like these little uh, lanes and side alleys uh, with little shops down them. It's, uh, it's a shame that more of the town centre isn't like this really, but uh, yeah, it's nice. I've never seen anywhere with so much scaffolding. Uh, they must be just doing up a whole load of buildings uh, ready for the summer season, I think. There was a few empty shops, um, which I suppose you've got to expect nowadays, uh, but on the whole it wasn't too bad. It was a bit early for a pasty. Um, I mean, I know sometimes you can say it's never too early for a pasty, but, uh, but it was, so I didn't get one. This is a great little um, cake shop, and yes, I did need to treat myself. The buildings are so nice that uh, it, it does make you think that Weymouth should maybe be a bit more upmarket or uh, uh, that it, I don't know, should maybe be posher than it looks. Um, but uh, but yeah, it's the same, it's still not a bad place. There's quite a lot of charity shops uh, in Weymouth, which is not necessarily a bad thing. This is St Mary's Church that opened in 1817. This statue was installed in 1809 to commemorate King George III's Golden Jubilee. Comedian Alan Carr comes from Weymouth. They have sand sculptures here uh, on, on Weymouth Beach. Um, they look a bit better in the summer, I think, but uh, still good. As you can see from what Sam is wearing, it's really cold and really windy. This clock tower was built in 1888 to celebrate Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee the year before. In 
in summer this beach just gets absolutely rammed. Uh, it's really, really popular down here on a hot summer's day. One date for your diary is Sunday the 28th of July at 3 o'clock when it's the finals of the women's beach volleyball competition that's taking place on Weymouth Beach. And um, for the women out there, the men's final is at 4 o'clock. best things about Weymouth I'd say probably the buildings, the beach and the harbour area. Worst things maybe I suppose some of the empty shops, the uh, town centre looks like it could do with a bit of uh, sort of regeneration um, but, but on the whole we thought it was very nice and we like coming here. Right that's us back at the harbour now so we're going to uh, get back to the van and head off and um, Thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you on the next one.